What you wish to do and experience during your trip to Belize will determine where you go and stay. Each of Belize's best tourist sites present a different aspect of the country, whether it is the locals, a distinctive natural setting, or exciting activities. While the islands, caves, and coastal communities are ideal for sun, sand, and water activities, the towns and cities on Belize's mainland are fantastic for ecotourism jungle experiences. Furthermore, Due to Belize's small size, you may easily visit both rainforest and beach areas to get the most out of your stay here. Welcome to Travel Moji, your exclusive boarding pass to access the world. Sounds like your cup of tea? Keep watching to see more of what Belize has to offer. Number 10. Ambergris K. The largest and most visited island in Belize is Ambergris Cay. Its broadest points are about a mile apart and it is 25 miles long. The airport and the majority of the island's stores, hotels, and restaurants can be found in San Pedro, the island's main town, which is situated in the southern portion of the island. Ambergris Cay is located 14 miles north of Cay Cocker and 35 miles east of Belize City. Its proximity to Belize's barrier reef, the largest reef system in the northern hemisphere, which stretches across Belize from Mexico on the north to close to the border with Guatemala on the south, may be more significant than anything else. It is located just 0.75 miles to the west of Belize. Although being the most visited location in Belize, Ambergris Cay is not expected to be too marked or swamped by tourists. The island keeps up a low-key relaxed feel that has won it and the voted following of frequent visitors who come back every year and, in some cases, never leave. In reality, Ambergris Cay is home to the majority of Belize's foreigners who are Americans. Number 9. Cay Cocker Cay Cocker, which is only a few kilometers off the coast of Belize City, is a well-liked stop for tourists looking for less expensive alternatives to Ambergris Cay. The tiny island, which has a vivid turquoise water and a cool, low-key Caribbean vibe, is a perfect place to learn about Belizean culture while taking a beach holiday. The motto of Cay Cocker, which is only 5 miles long, is a go slow, and both locals and visitors are quick to adopt it. Golf carts or bicycles are the two main modes of transportation on the island, or go shoeless and explore the sandy alleys and the island like a resident. Although tourism is a significant sector, historically, fishing has been the main source of income. Do you know where Cay Cocker received its name from? Theories exist, but it is believed to have made its way onto British maps as Cay Cocker. Sailors knew of its abundant friends fresh water, so they would stop to replenish and cork their water bottles. The name Cay Cocker, which translates to Island of Cocoplum from its Spanish name Cayo y Caco, is also thought to be an anglicized version of that name. Number 8 Cayo. Cayo, which spans about a million acres and is situated on the western side of Belize, is the country's largest district and borders Guatemala. The most frequented tourist destinations are the twin towns of San Ignacio and Santa Elena. The border town of Benqueviejo del Carmen is home to many Mayan settlements as well. The area includes Belmopan City as well as which is where Belize's capital is situated. Also see best rainforest resorts in Belize and and the 10-step Belize travel guide. The Cayo district is one of Belize's most culturally varied regions. Mestizos who have a mixture of Mayan and Spanish ancestry used to make up one of Cayo's largest ethnic groupings. Look for enclaves of Mayan, Mennonite, Creole, and perhaps Lebanese and Chinese today. If, like many tourists, you want to spend part of your vacation on the beach and part in the jungle, be ready for a full itinerary when visiting Cayo, with its various rainforest tours and dense concentration of Mayan sites. Cayo is sometimes considered the most attractive location in Belize by adventure seekers and history aficionados. Number 7 
Plasencia. Plasencia, a seaside community in the 16-mile-long Plasencia Peninsula near Stan Creek, is situated in southern Belize. From its humble beginnings as a sleepy Creole fishing community, it has grown to become renowned for its opulent beach resorts, fine dining establishments, and buzzing beach bars. However, Placencia's growth spurt has not affected its charm, and it remains a quiet getaway spot where golf carts are still a popular mode of transportation. Travelers are drawn to Placencia for more than just its long stretch of beaches, opulent hotels, and excellent dining options. It is near many top jungle attractions and it sits only 20 miles west of the southern part of the Belize Barrier Reef. Naturally, this makes it an excellent location for tourist interest in beach and jungle vacation combos. Number 6. Hopkins. Located in the southern Belize, Hopkins is a friendly seaside village on the coast of Stan Creek that has a high concentration of Garifuna people. With a laid-back Caribbean vibe, Hopkins is known as an eco-cultural hotspot, drawing tourists who are interested in learning about the Garifuna culture and exploring the southern barrier reef and nearby jungle attractions. Hopkins was established in the 1940s after a nearby area was established devastated by a hurricane, and everyone from farmers to fishermen relocated there. Fishing and farming used to be the primary source of income there, but nowadays it's tourism since Hopkins currently has several upscale resorts, local restaurants, beach bars, and gift shops. While Hopkins has, has grown, the village has retained its coastal charm, welcoming visitors with warm hospitality and a safe environment. You will feel the Garifuna culture at every turn in the village, along with a gateway to a wealth of water and nature activities. It is truly a unique travel destination, a great place to stay for a combined beach and jungle vacation in Belize. Number 5. Belize City The majority of Belizeans live in Belize City, which is one of the easternmost point of the country's central coast. It continues to be the major gateway to everything in Belize's international airport, as well as to everything and anything in the country's mainland. Cays and atolls, despite the Philip Goldson International Airport having replaced it as the nation's official capital. The majority of significant hotels, conference centers, and a cruise ship terminal are located in Belize City, but it's worth exploring for a day or two and using it as a temporary base for nearby top attractions. Spend a day exploring the historic attractions of the old capital, which include the Baron Bliss Lighthouse, the Belize Supreme Court, the Palace of Culture, and St. John's Cathedral. You can also visit the Museum of Belize, which is located in the former prison that was constructed in 1857. Prior to being turned into a museum in 2002, it was a functional and operational prison. Many opportunities to experience nature and wildlife are close to the city. There are numerous animal reserves and sanctuaries across the entire Belize area including Crooked Tree. Number 4. Glover's Reef Glover's Reef Atoll Belize's southernmost coral atoll is situated 27 miles off the southernmost part of the country's coast. The oval-shaped atoll is part of the Glover's Reef Marine Reserve, one of seven protected areas that make up the Belize's Barrier Reef Reserve System, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and is made up of five islands that surround a sparkling, shallow lagoon that supports an incredibly diverse marine ecosystem. The Marine Reserve is home to more than 800 patch reefs, which are crucial for serving as a nursery and feeding ground for sea turtles, sharks, and rays, as well as many other fish species, including the endangered Nasu Grouper. For marine adventurers seeking privacy and access to the unrivaled biodiversity found in the Glover's Reef Marine Reserve, Glover's Reef Atoll is a top choice of location. The vast patch reef that covers the entire atoll are best explored by diving or snorkeling, although kayaking, stand-up, paddleboarding, and sailing are all very popular. Mm -hmm. 
Number 3. Orange Walk One of Belize's sweetest neighborhoods, Orange Walk, is frequently referred to as Sugar City around the nation because of the overwhelming scent of sugarcane. Much like its other northern neighbor, Corozal, Orange Walk is home to a myriad of cultural backgrounds, a large number of mestizos, a mixture of Spanish and Yucatec Maya who fled Mexico during the Castel War, may be found here. Look for Spanish influence in both the, the architecture and cuisine. Orange Walk is home to one of Belize's most significant Maya ruins, La Manai, which is believed to be Mayan. For submerged crocodile, is second in size only to Caracol and is situated on the banks of the New River. Not surprisingly, there was a reason behind La Manai's riverside location. It was a route to transport goods, especially mahogany, which was was once the main source of income in the Orange Walk district. Number 2. Toledo the district of Toledo, located in the south of Belize, is occasionally referred to as the Forgotten Land by locals. It isn't one of the most popular areas in Belize for tourists because of its isolation and once limited transportation options. But with the help of programs like agro-tourism, that is changing. The area is home to nearly 1,700 square miles of rainforest, mountains, rivers, and offshore islands keeping it one of the least developed regions in Belize. The Toledo district, also referred to as PD locally, contains multiple Maya archaeological sites and boasts some of Belize's most diverse populations. Punta Gorda is the district's most well-known town. Underpopulated villages are filled with Mopan and Quechi farmers, whereas towns like Punta Gorda have large East Indian populations. Simple homes are widespread, and indigenous Mayan women frequently wash their clothing in the river while the men work in the fields. Number 1. Corozal Corozal, the northernmost district of Belize, has historically been one of the least traveled areas. But as this border town gains more attention, this is slowly beginning to change. Originally thought to be part of Chetumal, the Maya site of Santa Rita is what gave the rise to the town of Corozal. Historical data lends evidence that the belief that Santa Rita was in control of trade routes, even though Corozal does not have as many many attractions as Belize's other districts, you would be missing out if you did not go there. It is particularly well-liked by foreigners who want to live a relaxed lifestyle in quaint coastal towns like Sarteneja and Consejo beaches, but want quick access to Chetumal, Mexico, which provides modern city amenities. It's also worthwhile to explore the Maya site at Cerros and Santa Rita. The fact that Cerros is the sole Maya site on the coast and it is situated in the Gulf of Chetumal makes it worthwhile to visit. Climbing the main temple will reward you with stunning views of Chetumal Corozo and the mouth of the New River, seeing Maya sites, touring the Chipstern Natural Reserve and taking in the straightforward lifestyle of small fishing villages are among the attractions in Corozo.